Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video we're going to be teaching you how to set a custom screen resolution in Windows. So, there are various different problems that can go on with your hardware cables and all that kind of stuff that'll make it so you have problems setting the correct screen resolution for your screen. I myself have been having quite a few of these problems. I've recently been fixing up an older computer, and with doing that I had to go out and buy a new monitor. And since I bought a monitor from a pawn shop, I, it didn't come with any connector cables, so what I did was I made sure the monitor worked on my main computer, and then I went out and bought an extra VGA cable to plug it into the computer, and it worked fine during my initial test, but when I plugged it in with the new VGA cable, when I went to the screen resolution options, the correct screen resolution for the monitor was not selectable under Windows. So basically when I turned on the monitor it said the correct screen resolution for this monitor is 1600 by 900 at 60 Hertz. And when I turned on the monitor I was not at 1600 by 900 at all. I was at something completely different. So I thought that it was a bug and I went to go change the screen resolution. I went to the resolution and the option 1600 by 900 was nowhere to be found. There was all of these other options and there was even an option that was higher than 1600 by 900. And so I was a little bit upset. I didn't want to go return the monitor and I didn't want to go return the cable because when I tested the monitor out on another computer, it worked fine. So it obviously wasn't the monitor, it was the cable. And so in order to fix this problem, I needed to find a way to force the resolution of the screen into 1600 by 900. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description and download this application called PowerStrip. I'll leave the link in the video's description and it's a shareware product. So you can download and use it for free, but if you don't give them money, they'll have some like little tool tips pop up whenever you're using it, but that's not a problem for me. So once you download the program, go ahead and install it on your computer, but however, when you install it, for some reason it did not show up under the start menu whatsoever. So in order to find it, you're going to need to go to computer, you're going to need to go to your C drive, into your program files folder, and you're going to need to find the folder that says power strip, considering I can find it right now. Yeah, right here. This folder called PowerStrip. Open it up and then open up this exe file right here. And once you do that, it should appear down in your system tray or somewhere down here. So it's right here in my system tray. This is PowerStrip. So once you click on that, go to Display Profiles and then go to this icon here that says Configure. Open that up and it will open up this uh, Display Profiles box right here. What you want to do now is you want to go to here where it says Advanced Timing Options. Click on that and then here you can actually change the uh, different options right over here. And so what you want to do is you want to focus on this button that says Custom Resolutions. Click on that and then you can choose a new resolution and input all of that info right here. So I inputted 1600 by 900. Do that and click on Add New Resolution once it's done. And you can feel free to change any of these other options depending on what your monitor is. So once you have that done, click on Close and it should automatically apply. Now, I did have a few issues when I was actually using this with my own computer. So when I did this the first time, I guess I hit a wrong option and it changed uh, whatever my monitor was in terms of Hertz. So all I needed to do is go here to Screen Resolution resolution then select the resolution that you selected right here so 1600 by 900 is now an option and in my case my issue was that it had the wrong setting so I went to advanced settings go to monitor and then make sure it's set at the correct option here for your monitor my monitor is set to 60 Hertz so that's all right click apply click OK and now my screen resolution is set to 1600 by 900 at 60 Hertz and it works perfectly fine just the way that it was when I tested it out on my other computer so that's basically how to do it that's how to set your own custom screen resolutions on Windows the application again is PowerStrip you can download it from the link in the video's description and that's it that's pretty much it so that's it for the video guys I don't know how many times I said that's it right there but thank you a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time goodbye Thank you.